That's awesome, don't no cry. We are actually sort of house hunting. It is when you actually go down. <laughs> Whoa. Aren't they gorgeous? Are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> Dear Cheerlin, congratulations, you are in. You have been officially Don't accepted cry. to Kirkwood Community College. Don't cry. That's awesome. Don't okay, cry. so we just dropped T and Aspen off at Grandma Pat's, and we are headed out to do some graduation shopping for T. It's just last minute stuff so though. That's what we were doing. Oh yeah, we're washing his car first. Then we're going to get my car and do last minute graduation shopping. He can't see past the camera. <laughs> this car is filthy. It is, it's really bad. There's so much pollen in the air and it's so dry though. I am like just me. hoping after Tierland's, what, the birds don't like you? Yeah. Oh, because they keep, they keep pooping on his car. I'm hoping after Tierland's I gotta put my seatbelt on. We pulled away and I forgot. Anyway, um, I'm hoping after Tierland's graduation party, we just get so much rain. We need it so bad. All the lawns, see they haven't mowed theirs either for the yeah. same reason. Ours All the lawns, like yeah, it's tall, but it's so dry and we haven't had any rain that everyone that keeps mowing their lawns, the it's lawns are dead. dead. Look They're at just one. completely fried. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. Completely fried up on their lawn. Ours is still nice and green. It's just long. Well, see, they did the same thing. They haven't cut yeah, theirs they haven't either. Cut theirs either. Yeah, so we haven't cut ours, but it doesn't look like we're supposed to get any rain anytime soon. So I don't know. I think we might need to cut it in the evening and then just water, water, water it and hope it doesn't burn out. So we'll see. But anyway. That was off the subject of what we're doing. We are shopping for T's graduation party, picking up last minute things. Most of it's done. We've completed most everything. The only issue we're having is the cake dilemma. <laughs> so we ordered T a really awesome cake from Sam's Club. It's like a three tier graduation cake and their prices were amazing. And so I went and I got her this awesome cake. I picked it out for her. And now we're not sure because it's supposed to be hot how we're gonna keep it cool, and how we're supposed to transport it. We so, didn't expect to be over 80, 85, so. No, it, normally this time of year, it's like 75 degrees, like yeah. beautiful weather, middle of June, and right now we're literally in the middle of a drought, I think. Yeah. We haven't had that made, any rain, any storms. Which that is made weird. for yesterday to be fun because we were just ordering tabletop ice buffets, just throw ice in on what's pop on the table as well. In that heat, the ice is not gonna last, and I don't have coolers anymore. Like, I have small fishing coolers. But not I have. for a party. And I didn't want to buy Yeti coolers because they don't make them big enough for what I need, and I don't need ice for a week. You know, I, I have great coolers, but I don't need ice lasting that long because we don't do anything that long. No. So I needed big coolers, you know, big igloo polars, and. 120 cards and I had to run around and run around. I finally got the last two of Menards. Yeah, because everybody's sold so, out of this stuff. Yeah. So, and I think part of it's because graduation parties are going on. And so we have, you know, and the weather's so hot, people are like, oh, we're gonna need this stuff and they're going out and getting them. So, yeah. but yeah, we're counting down. We're six days out from her graduation party. And you notice, her graduation ceremony. And you notice how she said, we're going to wash this car. Then we're going to go park it and grab mine. <laughs> this is like our cruising vehicle. It's our the other Sunday one is car. our errand vehicle. Yeah, but we're not going on our Sunday cruise. We're going to run errands. The other one is our family errand. I like my car better. I do. His car is really nice. It is. But I like my car better. It's got better air conditioning, cooled seats. It does. You can haul more in my car, though. <laughs> better stereo. No, mind you, he picked out my car for me. Well, yeah, I like your car. But I like to drive mine, too. <laughs> I literally, guys, have owned this car four and a half months. Is that right? Five months almost? I think so, yeah. Almost five months, because, well, it's May. I bought it in, like, March. No, February. Late February, I think I bought it, because there was still snow once in a while when I bought it. 
and I have not filled the tank once. I still have a quarter tank. I need gas today for the first time. <laughs> hey. At least it'll be low miles when you go to sell it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not giving him a hard time. Selling the vehicle is his idea. So <laughs> I because we do want to buy a house and it's yes. it's just a liquid equity that I have that's worth such an amount of money and if I know how to sell it I will. And I, we still have our big van that you never see and I'm converting that into a fishing slash camping slash cruise family outing van so yeah that's our 15 passenger van that we vlogged about forever ago yeah. about getting and we still have it we just have it stored yeah. anyway we are though he mentioned it and I hadn't really said anything we are actually sort of house hunting we're not seriously looking until like next year but we're just keeping our eyes out this year so but we're hoping by next spring we will be doing a house tour for you. And now we're gonna go watch our house. taking Zane down the 4th Street Elevator in Dubuque, Iowa for the first time ever. You've never gone, huh? No. He's lived here pretty much his whole life, but he's never gone down. Come on, let's go. I'll show you. So here's the little building you go to. It's actually called the Fenland Street Elevator, but I don't know. I think, but we call it the 4th Street Elevator. Anyway, check this out. Look, Zane, isn't it cool? Oh, that's so tall. Isn't that awesome? You can see the whole city. What do you think? Oh. Cool. You want to go? Come on. Think. Cool. <laughs> is it me? <laughs> so this is the inside, you guys. Isn't that cool? I wonder how it is when you actually go down. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> is that me? <laughs> it doesn't go very fast, so it's not really scary. No, it's not. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Goes a little faster, but not too fast. Add people in it, but it doesn't anymore. Yeah, because you can go from the bottom up if you want. Do you know it has been so long since I've been on this thing? I've never been on it. Oh, it Kennedy. turns. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so that way we don't hit the other car. Now we'll get to watch it go by. awesome <laughs> it was huh okay so we are back home done with our shopping the kids are out playing in the pool but I put it too far down on the slant so we need to drain it and move it up I'm gonna wait to drain it because we'll utilize that water for our grass but you can see see we have it mowed and our grass is nice and green it's not burnt out over here it is but this is a really rocky area but we definitely need to mow, but see how much greener it is than when you mow and then it's, it's just completely burnt. I'm gonna probably try to either mow it tonight 
or I'm gonna mow it tomorrow, but I actually turned on the camera because I want to show you guys something. I just watered them. Look, my hollyhocks are blooming. Aren't they gorgeous? I am so excited. They're so pretty. See, they're gonna be black. So yeah, I planted them, well I told you guys this, I planted them last year, but they take a whole year before they bloom. So look how tall they are, they're like, they're taller than me, and I'm like 5'9", so <laughs> they're huge. I'm so excited though. I've got more along the side of the house, I really have to weed whack back here, but I have more along the side of the house here, and then I don't know what's growing there, but some type of flower, I think it said it was foxglove, but you know what, that could be some of my delphinium that blew away. So we'll find out when it blooms, because it's got a like a cone flower on top. We'll find out when it blooms what it is. Yeah, this is like a jungle over here. But see, so cool. I'm so excited to see all of these blooming. Now, what didn't come back this year are my um, sunflowers. So, and I didn't plant any more this year. I probably won't. I'll just leave the hollyhocks. But they're so pretty. I'm so excited. It's definitely a flower I will plant again after we buy our house. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but we have a little friend in the yard eating. Isn't he cute? He's just sitting there eating. He's not scared. <laughs> He's been running all over the backyard here. 